Hey guys, it's future Chris here. So before we start the footage of the review, I'm going to be reviewing G6 and G7, showing you some swatch comparisons. I have some comparisons of other concealers in the video as well, but I want to say I do have on G6 right now. I did get a little bit darker since the video. Um, you'll see that in a second. I got a nice little tan. I put on the same shirt though, just so you can see, I guess, kind of the... I don't know, I feel like it would be better to wear the same shirts because sometimes if you wear like a different color shirt, it looks, the concealer can look a little bit different. So I just wanted to try to keep it as true as possible to color. Because I do have a tan right now, I would actually go on to G5, which is like the next darkest shade. I feel like this is okay. You guys tell me what you think, but I would feel more comfortable with a little bit of a darker shade for under my eyes. But if you're someone who likes to really brighten up your under eye area, like brighten it up, then yeah, you could still get away with G6 if you and I are a similar um, complexion. Okay. So I have both G6 and G7. I'm gonna swatch them for you on my arm, but I'm gonna actually be using G6 today. Let me show you what they look like in the container. So this is G6 and this is G7. That's G7. And then let me show you G6 right next to it. So I ordered G6 um, no, I ordered G7 at first initially and I liked it so much that I immediately ordered I knew the shade was off But I liked the formula so much that I immediately placed an order for another one since everything came pretty fast So as you can see I do have bags that have dark circles under my eyes It's just hereditary I believe because I've done everything from correcting my sleep to increasing my water intake and all that good stuff And they're still here. So I think it's just my face. Thanks mom. Thanks for the jeans so so let's get up close and personal for the application and what I love about the stretch concealer is that you don't have to really like blend 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 like it is very lightweight like very when they say like a no makeup makeup look like this is literally it so I'm gonna I'm gonna look over here but you'll be able to see the application so here we go Oop. I'm gonna get. my cat is messing with it get down Okay, and already you can see, and it doesn't take like a whole bunch of like blending down. Like if I were to use the concealer to do the same thing, I would have to like really blend it out, like really, really blend it out. Like this gives me just enough coverage to look natural. Um, it's really, honestly, the best thing I've used so far that doesn't like really like super crease. And it looks natural and like hydrating. Can you take, can you see that? Let me see if I can zoom in to more turn the lighting, but you can see like it looks it looks so natural. Like I prefer not to set this with a powder. When I do wear a concealer, I will well this is concealer, but when I wear a concealer like with a full face of makeup, I do set it with a powder because I find that like no matter what I use, it does end up creasing at the end of the day. But like today, I just want to do a no makeup makeup look, meaning just brows, mascara, concealing these bags. Maybe a little highlighter, maybe if I'm feeling fancy, but that's it. So on my minimal days, this is definitely something I would reach for. Um, I don't have to worry about having to blend so much. I don't have to worry about it looking different in different light. I'll try to show you in the car like how it looks, but like I, I, I really, I enjoy this. I like this. What do you think? I figure, let me show you some other swatches just for comparison. So this is going to be NARS uh, Suk. So this is a little more yellow than that one. But that's what I use when I wear a full face of makeup. Next I have the Tarte Shape Tape I'm going to show you in Tan Sand. Right here. So it's kind of, it's kind of a wide range. And then finally I have the YSL Touche Eclat and it's the color 4.5. I hope I pronounced it right. I don't know, y'all. So we've got quite the range. So this is it for my no makeup makeup look. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All products are listed down below. <laughs> no, but I really like the way that everything has come together. Like if I don't want to wear a full face, like I like, I actually like my skin. Like I do, I like that a full face of makeup looks a little more smooth and polished, I guess sometimes. You know, it's fun to put on makeup. I, I enjoy it. Okay, it's therapeutic. I like it, I like changing up my look, but I also, like on days like today where I don't wanna have to like 
take too much time getting ready. I really like the stretch concealer for it because it makes me look like I have enough sleep, whether that is true or not. It's true today. You know, it's just something quick. And it, also we're gonna be going on vacation soon, so I want something that is gonna be easy. I don't have to spend so much time getting ready. You know, I can touch it up on the go and not have to worry about blend, 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 and it looks natural, most of all. So I'll show you guys at the end of the day what everything looks like and see you after work. So I just got in the car so you can kind of see how it looks in different lighting. Still looking natural. What concealer? Where is the concealer? Just showing you some different lighting. I'm in the bathroom at my job, but just showing you some different lighting. How the concealer looks. Still looking natural. Still looking good. It is 6.17 p.m. Still going strong. I've had this on for over eight hours. Um, I think this still looks pretty good. Let me zoom you in. But not too Okay, so it's the end of the day, and we're gonna have to have some trust with each other, okay? Um, so let me zoom in and show you what the end day result looks like. I applied this concealer under my eyes at about 10.20ish this morning. It is 9.27 p.m. right now, I just got home from work. So let's zoom in, and then I know it may not look like, let me see. I know it may not look right now like there's much coverage left. Now let me see if you can see. Can you see? Ooh. Actually, yes, it does. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a t the tiniest, the taintiest bit of creasing going on right here under my eyes. But that's actually still really good for me. Um, when I use regular concealers to conceal under my eyes, like the crease will be like very prominent, like and super noticeable. But from a distance, you can't tell that it's creasing under my eyes. It looks normal. It looks like this just a line so I'm gonna pause real quick wash my face and then I think you'll be able to really see the difference and see so you can see like how I've got the whole dark circle thing going on again so you can tell that there was some coverage all right so at the end of the video I did not want to disappoint some of you I know that the lighting changed um, and I know that maybe some of you don't know me well enough to trust me so what I'm gonna do at this point I'm gonna wipe off the G6 so you can really see um, the difference I know you can kind of see it in the application but I'm staring straight on now so that way you get a better idea like what I was saying earlier about how it lasted throughout the day I still think it lasted pretty well but I just want you to visually see so here we go So yeah, maybe not a huge drastic difference, but you can definitely tell a difference in the coverage. So if you are someone who doesn't like makeup, or you're like dabbling into makeup, just getting into it, or you just want something lightweight, just enough coverage, just a little something, something, um, I would definitely go with the stretch concealer. I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful. Um, if you have any questions or if there's anything that I left out, go ahead and leave that in the description down below. And if you know of any other similar concealers, you know, the same kind of no makeup makeup concealers that will last all day give a little bit of coverage with minimal creasing leave those down below for me as well and I'll see you guys in the next video bye